Welcome back. It is no secret that Nebraska is home to some of the greatest fans in college sports. And here in Omaha, Maverick Hockey is already off to a great start. We spent some time at Baxter Arena with coach Mike Gabinet, the inspiration and motivation behind the Mavs. First and foremost, I want to develop a team that has really good high character players that are ready to compete every single night. With the conference we play in, it's really important that uh, with all the talent we'll face out there that we're highly competitive and the guys have a good work ethic and, and show up every single night. So we're really trying to recruit the, the type of kids that are willing to put the work in that it takes to be successful at this level. The three things that we like to talk about all the time is working hard for each other, so always supporting the play, supporting each other on the ice, playing smart, um, making the correct decisions consistently over and over again that allow our teams a chance to success. And then we really want to out-compete teams. Uh, those are things in our control. I think compete's a little bit different than hard work. You have guys that can work hard, but uh, out-compete somebody else and win one-on-one -on -one battles is very important for us to have team success. I think the biggest thing is just going to be recruiting. You know, really, with nowadays recruiting being so young in the NCAA hockey, where a lot of times recruits are three to four years old, just to develop a good foundation of players um, that have the talent, that compete, the work ethic, and the character uh, to allow us to have success in this very tough conference. Our staff's been working extremely hard to continue to identify top prospects out there that can come in and contribute right off the bat. One of the strengths in the strengths of our team, I think, is our, uh, our depth. It's also one of our challenges. We don't really have that kind of elite player right now that's standing out, but just early in the season here, we've had a couple of young freshmen with Taylor Ward and Chase Primo, and, and we have Tyler Weiss that's yet to play it that's been injured, uh, that can maybe are a little bit more high-profile uh, scorers that should come in and contribute some offense. So those are good guys to keep an eye on. I think it's one of the nicest buildings in the country. Um, that's something we talk about as a team. We want to make this an extremely hard building to play against. Uh, we love when our fans come out and get excited. I know the guys talk about in the locker room all the time, feeling the energy of the building and feeling the energy of the fans. And I remember my playing days back here when we played at the Civic and when the crowd's going, you kind of don't get tired out there. Your adrenaline starts pumping. So uh, we want to make sure we're recreating that in the Baxter Arena here and, and our fans do a great job supporting our team. I think it's something we talk about all the time when we have recruits in town, just this amount of support we get in the community and from the students and there's no professional teams here in Omaha and I find they really rally behind their college sports uh, here in Omaha. So that's something we share with our recruits and uh, when they come into town, how special a place this is and you're a special part in the community and with our university. So definitely something we, we let our recruits know about and sell to our recruits. I'd say all the buildings are pretty tough to play in, but. Definitely, you know, obviously Denver and Minnesota Duluth and North Dakota winning the national championship the last three seasons. Uh, those are especially tough places to go play in. We get possession of the clock now. I love players. Omaha. Uh, having played here and been a part of the program and now have the ability to give back to the program and, and uh, help lead the program, it's, it's very near and dear to my heart. And moving my family back to Omaha and coming back here and seeing Baxter Arena and seeing the campus and just reflecting all the special memories it's brought to me and all the pride it's brought me. I want to make sure that we're making people in the community and the university extremely proud of the program and make sure it's going in the right direction. Go Mavs! It looks like it's going to be another exciting season. And you can watch Mavs hockey or UNO men's or women's basketball live right here on your view, Cox Channel 1013. Or you can find programs like Go Omaha or Mavs hockey anytime. Use your Contour 2 remote and simply say find Go Omaha or Mavericks hockey. You'll see a list of upcoming showtimes or the programs on On Demand. That's all we have for you today. I'm Brandi Peterson reminding you to get out and go Omaha.